Vasquez became a household name in the 90s when he hosted MTV Jams. Woo. Now he's since gone on to act, produce, and do what he calls his first love, stand-up comedy. He's now added author to his resume with his new memoir, Top Villain, Stories of Laughter, Lessons, and Triumph. Please welcome Bill Bellamy. <laughs> I feel so grown right now. You God. are grown. Look, you Thank know, you. and Bill, I have known you for so long, even before you got married. And so you were dating a lot before yeah. you got married. So I was in them streets. You was in the streets. <laughs> what a see in the streets. In them streets. Okay, so when you were out there, what like what were your what were your red flags on the first date? Red flags would be like a lot of kids. A lot of kids. <laughs> Because you just can't date when you got a lot of kids. Yeah. You know, uh, what's another good red flag? A, a crazy ex-boyfriend. A crazy ex-boyfriend. Because, you know, you sitting there at Red Lobster, and he like, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> 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 and they be like, why, t I, why is he here? <laughs> you know, and they women, women never tell you how crazy their ex was. Or they never tell you how long they broke up. That's right. Like, like how long y'all been broke up? Well, you know, like, um, <laughs> they say, they always say a year ago. <laughs> no, and when it was yes, when it was really Monday. Okay. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I want, <laughs> I knew you would have some. Go. Cool. This week uh, is the season finale of Bel Air. Yes. And on Bel Air, you played Uncle Phil. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, Uncle I mean, Julius. Uncle, Uncle Phil's. Brother, Uncle Julius. Uncle, Uncle Julius. So, are we gonna see you again? Yes. On, uh, you are. Yeah, you coming back? back? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming back. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. But I'm his crazy brother. You're a crazy brother. So I'm the crazy competitive brother, sibling rivalry brother. I always got to try to outshine my little brother because, like, technically we're the same. But he's doing his thing in Bel Air. I'm doing my thing in South Carolina. <laughs> you know? But once I come out there, I got to show up and show out. And that's what we're looking forward yes, to. Yes. This was something that I, I did not know, and I don't know if a lot of people know. Uh, you and Shaq are cousins. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> I, look, y'all cousins. <laughs> now, yeah. were you? He's just bigger than me. That's all. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> The disparity there. Yeah, the disparity. <laughs> <laughs> now, were y'all close growing up? Yeah, it, it's so funny how people forget, like, people think you can only be cousins for two years or something. Like, people forget that. I like, know. Your, your family is your family. Um, we get together whenever we can, but, like, growing up was kind of weird because he moved around a lot. Yeah. But the funny part was he was so big, he could never sit at a real seat in class. He had to sit at the teacher desk. <laughs> <laughs> and all the other kids like, why he get to sit up there when he, he can't fit? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny reading all of these uh, and, and getting to know you yes. and reading your book Top Billing. Like you, you were so vulnerable and open about your life. Right. What made you decide to to tell so much about your life? I don't know. I mean, I just thought it would be really nice to just explore it because during COVID, there was not a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. I had free time and I was just sitting around and uh, with my, my, my girl, Nicole Smith, who helped me kind of narrate my life. Like, she was like, Bill, your life is so interesting. You yes. did all this crazy stuff. You ever think about just talking every day? Tell me, and we just do two, three hour Zooms. Yeah. And, I'm, I, and I got like a million pictures. Like, y'all don't understand. I got pictures of everybody from Tupac to Mariah to this to that. So I'm looking at these pictures and I'm like, oh, I remember that. I remember that. She was like, let's do a story about it. Okay. So, and so it was I, so many. You took me back down memory lane yes. in, in Top Billing. I loved it so much when I read it. Now, I hear that you went to buy your own book. Oh, Is yeah. that true? Oh, it's so funny, right? So I was like, because I've never been no author. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> So I'm like, you know, this is new to me. I'm like, I'm still like tripping, like I'm in the bookstore. Yeah. Like, so I went to see if it was really in there. <laughs> you know, black people, you know, black people, we gotta check. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Make sure I'm in there. Oh, yeah. 
know what I'm saying? You know, I made sure. So I go in the bookstore, right? And I'm looking for, for the book, right? And then I get to the thing. And, the, and the, all the people in the bookstores, they don't look like, they, yes. they don't look very, you know, social. So <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. So the guy's like, uh, I said, custom service, I'm looking for this book. It's brand new, new release, top billing by this guy, Bill Bellamy. He was like, yeah, I heard of him. <laughs> Even know it was me. He didn't know it was you at all. And he charged me full price. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is and this is again. I love this. <laughs> Reading top billing when you yes. were taking me down memory lane. Yeah. I remember watching you on Def Comedy Jam. <laughs> yes, uh, and I will never forget. What? You talked about, you had this phrase, booty call. Y'all yes. remember that? Yeah. And that's, that, fa you, you rose to fame, that, and that was an iconic phrase. Yeah. How did that come about? Well, booty call came from a, a, just Friday night. Booty call is like, you know, how, do we, when, how guys feel on a Friday night, you got a new apartment, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you remember like when we used to, back in the day, we didn't have cell phones like that. You had, you had to call, like on a regular phone. Yeah. You know, each number. <laughs> you know, the new kids could slide to the left, yes. slide to the right. Yes. We had to work. Okay. And back in the day, we used to have Rolodexes. Remember that? Yes, yeah. yes. So, and I had mine, you feel me? <laughs> I, used to, I used to be there like, frrr, frrr. So I said, oh, I should do that as a joke. Yeah. And when I did it, I did it at the Uptown Comedy Club yeah. the first time, and everybody busted out laughing. Yeah. And it was so catchy. I didn't know it was going to blow up, though. Blew up. Did you know how much booty got done without me getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> Trademark! What? Oh, my God. Jesus! Man. You were everywhere, I, and I remember watching you on MTV. You have interviewed so many legends yes. on MTV. We can't even name them all, but I'm gonna throw out a few names. And I want you to tell me a memory, okay. Uh, all right, so uh, Janet Jackson. Wow, oh, Janet? Oh, let me tell y'all a funny story about Janet. So I'm on tour with Janet Jackson, yes. and I'm opening up and whatever. And every night she used to put a guy on stage, right? Yes. And like time to the thing That's and be weird. doing all this little sexy stuff to him. And I was like, the next night, I was like, yo, I'm gonna stand by the edge. <laughs> so, so like maybe she picked me. She walked right by me. She was like, boy, bye. <laughs> cause, cause you know what I'm saying? Cause I back then, I was like, if you tie me up, I'm gonna break loose. Okay. <laughs> Okay, great memory. Yeah. And then Tom <laughs> Billy, he's got even more Janet Jackson. Yes, I do. Okay, I do, I so do. Snoop Dogg. Oh, Snoop Dogg. Snoop. All right. Well, let me tell you what I love about Snoop. So when I first met Snoop, Snoop was like 19, maybe 20 years old, mm -hmm. and he was hot in. And I didn't, I don't smoke, like, I, that's the highest I've ever been in my life. You, and he wasn't even smoking, he had smoked. It was on his jacket. <laughs> I, was, I was like, man. Oh, gosh. He was like, what's wrong, nephew? <laughs> I'm dizzy as hell. <laughs> oh, a very quick story. So we go to Snoop's house to do the interview. Yes. And Snoop would not do the interview unless he got a shoebox of weed. Really? I don't know how much a shoebox of weed is, but it's a lot. <laughs> they found it. Okay. And you got to do the interview. Yeah, we did. Oh my gosh. I love this is <laughs> taking us down memory lane. But it, even in, in everything that you do, you're still busy doing your podcast, yes. Top Billing. You're still busy doing stand up. You're always on stage doing stand up. Yeah. Like, why is it so important to you to keep doing both of well, those comedy things? Comedy is so fun. Like, I don't know. It's like the really personal part of me that yeah. I can create. I always think of funny stuff. Like, I love coming on shows like this because I could just be myself and cause I'm silly all the time. Yes. You know? So. I'm working on a new hour, so I gotta okay. practice. So I, you know, I work my, I have one on Amazon now that's called uh, I Want My Life Back. Okay. So I'm trying to like come up with another hour of funny stuff. And it's hard, like you gotta start over. Like you gotta yes. start from scratch. You, all those jokes are old. So now I gotta come with the new flavor. <laughs> 
<laughs> now you, and this is one thing I want to say about you. We're looking at all the pictures. I'm looking at you now. I, what are you taking to, with the elixir of youth? You look exactly the same, Bill. Well, uh, I would say a little shea butter. <laughs> yeah. a little shea butter. Drink a lot of water. <laughs> and you gotta exercise, you know what I'm saying? I think, I think laughter keeps you young too. Laughter keeps you so yeah. young. And now you, now here's the thing. This is a, this is a cult classic movie. Okay. How to be a player. Yes. How to be a player. All right, every, like, are we gonna see a sequel? Yeah, 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 we gotta do it. Oh, you, you the, do the it? culture needs it, you know what I mean? Every day of my life, people ask me about how to be a player. They're like, yo, B, man, I grew up with you. I met a guy two weeks ago. I was coming out the hotel. He was there coming in. He was like, dog, you changed my life. You made me get all my sneakers lined up in the closet. <laughs> You know, he said, I, I, I got my first place that looked like that. Cause you know, back then in the nineties, they didn't have loft apartments. No. So Dre had the two floor joint. Yes. Yeah, but my new one gonna be penthouse. You feel me? Oh, this is what I'm talking about. We like this. We, we got to turn up. You might want to be in the movie, Sherry. I, yes, I would love to be in your movie. Look, I, anything with Bill Bellum. <laughs> anything. Hey, Sherry, Sherry, you would be good. Like little brown sugar. <laughs> Good. Make you me one of the sperm women. <laughs> I can play sperm good. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Uh, Bill, I love you, and I just want to say you've always inspired me because I would see you on stage doing stand up, and you would get on there, and you know we all have that fear of you know when we go up, but you would be fearless on that stage, and you just inspired me to keep going yes. and keep doing my. I'm stand very up. proud of you. I'm so proud. You remember of you. I came to see you when you was in Seattle. You came to see me. I was me. I was doing a show in the next city and I saw you on the on the news and I drove over there to see you. You was like, "Bill, what you doing here?" <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's the uh, our family of comedians. That's it. We have our own like fraternity and you're a part of that. Absolutely. And I'm just yeah. I love you so much. <laughs> Bill, thank you for being here. You're welcome. And I want to say, this is a book you have got to get. You want to laugh, you want to feel good. Oh, yes. my goodness. Top Bill and Stories of Laughter, yes. Lessons, and Triumph is out now in studio audience. You're all getting a copy! Yeah! Yeah!